one more date. <coughs> Sorry. Instead of messaging the guy, why don't you just walk over and grab some coffee? I'm feeling really sluggish today anyway. Amanda! Amanda sticks her head out of her room. Father! Wanna go to the coffee spoon? Oh, so you get called cool once, and now you're the cool dad who hangs out at the coffee shops and listens to Neo Jazz and stuff? Amanda, are you gonna bring your laptop and your leather-bound journal so you can work on your poetry anthology? Look, honey, do you want me to buy you coffee or not? Let me grab my laptop and my leather-bound journal. Amanda and I make a short walk over the coffee spoon, and the place is quiet today. Just a few people hanging out and reading books in the cozy lo little nooks. I walk up to the counter and see a familiar pierced face. Hey! You were the dude that yelled at, yelled at a bunch the other night. Yeah. Amanda cast a sideways glance at me. He tried to tell me shirts. And who might you be, miss? Ugh. <laughs> I like that Amanda's just like, I'm so irritated by you. This is my daughter, Amanda. The person I'm a father to and I'm very protective of. And honored to make your acquaintance. My name is Pablo. Did I mention that I make witch house music? Hmm. I wouldn't call witch house music, but okay. Ugh. Piercing blow to my ego, though. Not one that'll dis disquiet my need to impress you. My innate dad senses tingle. I'm overwhelmed with fatherly protective energy. I must do something to protect my child. I want to say lines from Taken. But I feel like that's too much. Anyways, Pablo, I didn't know you worked here. Uh, yeah, Matt, today's my first day. Matt's still training me. Cute. Yeah. Matt comes out from washing the dishes in the back room to meet Amanda and I. He and I high five as fellow cool people do. Mm. I see you met my newest employee. At your surface, although I'm only here until Vacant Vale stars the world tour. When's that? Well, we have to put out a record first. Hey. All right, Pablo. Now, what do we do with customers again? Right. Yes. Pablo clears his throat. Hello, good folk of Maple Bay. Can I interest you in a tasty caffeinated beverage? Hey. A smashing pumpkin spice light. A smashing pumpkin spice, la spice latte, please. A classic, and you? Father John Misto. I kind of want deep calf for cutie, but I said I need caffeine in my system, so I want to say Americano football. I don't know what Father John Misto would be. Americana football, please. Hey. Our coffee is as strong as a band's feelings. Good choice. I don't get it. Hey. Oh, uh, American football is a sport, but also an emo band that made a good album and waited over a decade and then made another, another good album, and their music was very sad and sometimes featured sad trumpets. Oh. And I'm over explaining the joke again. Coming right up. Pablo gets to work making a drink, and while Matt observes him, hey. he'll get the hang of it. For as goofy as a dude he is, the kid works hard. Hey man, that concert was a lot of fun. We should hang out again. Oh. Hell yes. Hey. I'm actually going to be done training Pablo in a couple of hours. I was going to go go record shopping. Want to come along? Absolutely. Hey. Pablo brings her drinks, and Amanda buries herself in her laptop. I spend my time sipping my drink and cracking jokes with Matt. Last time we hung out, he told me that he had trouble hanging out with other people, but for some reason, he and I can talk and joke like old buds. It's weird. I feel really comfortable around him. Once Matt feels comfortable leaving Pablo on his own, I say goodbye to Amanda and we start walking to the record store. Hey. Have you ever been here before? No, I mean, you have a record player sitting in the living room, but all I have are two copies of Phantom Comes Alive. Hey, yeah. Oh, well, this should be a fun, fun then. We're gonna find you some good stuff. 
The walls of the store are packed with posters, artwork, stickers, and records. A few people milling around, flipping through milk crates of albums, and some indie band is playing through the speakers. It's a nice vibe. So, why do people still buy records? Isn't it kind of outdated at this point? Hey. There's a lot of people who try to tell you that vinyl sounds warmer or more true to the artist's intent, but really, I think it's just nice to collect records. Oh. It's cool. It's cool in that they an age that we have just about every song ever created available instantaneously on our phones, but there's something about holding an album and getting to see the artwork in your hands that you'll always love. Hey, yeah. That's why I get as many of the records that I love in physical forms as possible. Remember when we were kids and we would have to wait around by the radio with a cassette tape so that we could record our favorite songs? Oh. It made each listen really special. And mixtapes are even cooler because of how much work they took. Now you just make a playlist and I think the last time someone gave me a real mixtape was in high school. Hey. I look around multi-level record store and spot some genres. Future Wave, Jungle, or an arch archer crow punk nuns but I don't even know what these are I have no idea where to even start man this is a little overwhelming hey. here let me help you find something you might like if you were a milkshake what flavor would you be oh my god cookies and cream hey. if you could only buy one type of candle scent for the rest of your life what would it be <sighs> don't do this to me Okay, Daffodil Mountain Spring, Camouflage Summer Breeze, Spring Creek Fireball, Power Vibe, Cherry oh, Blossom. Yeah. I like vanilla and sweet flavors, but or sweet scents too, but they don't have any. What's your favorite ambient sound? Uh, oh, sorry, my alarm went off. Uh, Rain, Bowling Hours, Star Trek. Can I say Star Trek? Because I like those sounds too. What's your dream vacation spot? My backyard, inside an active volcano, living off of fat of the island in Libizbizbizbiz, starting a new life in the politics. I'll say that. What's your deepest, darkest fear? I worry that people are nice to me only because they want something from me. That's true. I fear that I don't deserve happiness and won't ever get it. That's also true. What if nobody exists but me? I've fabricated this universe. And saying you too when the waiter tells you to enjoy your food. Uh, yeah. Matt thinks for a moment. Hmm. Huh? Oh, I know just the thing. Hey. He runs to the other end of the store and returns holding a record behind his back and then shows it to me. This is Trouble Will Find Me by The National. The National have honored their sad guy sound on the album that's their album. By this point, they are old pros with feeling blue. The music is so amazing that it'll actually cheer you up. Well, dude, thanks for the recommendation. You're going to have a great time with it. Promise. Matt and I bring our records to the cash register. A young girl with a septum ring and buzz cut stands behind the counter with one earbud in. The usual stuff today, Matt? Just some light pickups. Matt places three items on the counter. I swear I'm good at this by Diet Craig forever by Mr. S Mystery Skulls! Sorry. And the greatest hits by Rainbow <laughs> Time. Diet. The cashier brings Matt up their hands back his album in the bag. He stares at me suspiciously. Who's the nerd? Hey. That nerd is my buddy Keith. Keith, this is Beacon. The beacon of human charm is Molly. I got kicked out of art school for destroying my paintings at the end of every critique. Lovely to meet you. Anyway, Matt, is this open mic night still on? You know it, their third wave's gonna do special acoustic performance. I might see if I can get a few of the girls together. There's an open mic night going on? Oh. Yeah, dude, we do it every month at the Coffee Spoon. Some amazing talent always comes through. Got a flyer for it right here. Hey. You and Amanda should come by that night. Oh, Matt blushes. Hey. I mean, if you're not doing anything. Uh, Will Vacantville will be playing? Yeah, great. If only. I finished playing, paying for my record, and we head out of the store. Man, I would have tripped down memory lane. I haven't been to a record shop like that since fans had shag carpeting. Mm. Now that you mention it, isn't it strange to think of all those weird little musical memories? How do you mean? Well, I think music is a very time and place sort of thing. A song is important. A 
a song important to me not only in that I think it sounds good, but where I was and what I was doing when I was listening to it. There's music that reminds me of exes, the struggles through school, of being so poor that I couldn't know where my next meal was coming from. Hey. All that stuff. And listening to those songs remind me of those moments in my life. Yeah, now that I think about it, now that I think of it, even a pop concert Amanda made me take her to was special to me. I mean, I'm not really a fan of the band, but hearing their songs on the radio reminds me of how young and excited Amanda was. And even then, it reminds me of a younger me. Going to my favorite bands in a concert with all my friends. We'd always go to my friend Cynthia Chapman's house beforehand and smoke pot in her basement like we were so slick. Her parents definitely knew what we were doing. Wait, when was the last time you smoked pot? Matt stops and thinks for a moment. It's been decades. Dude, me too. Where do you even get pot now? Is it even what kids call it these days? I don't know. But I bet I could find out. Do you want to get high and listen to our new records? Uh, I want to say no, because I'm not really too keen on that. What? Nah, man. I think I'm good. Hey. Uh, uh, just a little juvenile. I guess. Let's go back to my place and listen to them. Hey. Like, I know it's probably the wrong thing to say, but I'm also like, eh. Matt walked back to the call the second head into this house. I hope he isn't bummed out about the whole no hey, weed yeah. thing. We sit and listen to the Diet Kirk album that Matt bought, which is catchy as hell. I look around the room again, and I see photos of Carmisa growing up, and I spot a, a young woman with a huge smile on one of the pictures of the two. Who's that? Uh... Oh, that's Rosa. She was Carmisa's mother. She died when Carmisa was young. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, Amanda lost Alex at a young age, too. I can understand how hard that must have been. I look around again, spotting a frame gig poster on the wall. On it is an illustration of Matt and Rosa surrounded by flowers. The cursive lettering reads, Stillness, stillness the, the dancing, and looks like they played the sound garden over a decade ago. You two were in a band together? Oh, man. Yeah, it was the reason I was touring so much when I was younger. We traveled the whole country as this rinky-dink little land. It was hard to start, but once we started gaining and seeing how much our songs meant to kids, it was just incredible. Wow, that seems like a life some people only dream of. Hey. It was, and it was difficult at the same time. I couldn't have done it without someone by my side. Rosa and I knew that we couldn't do it forever, the long hours on the road, missing our family, sleeping in the van, all that uh. stuff. So, once she became pregnant with Carmista, we put down our roots in our favorite town to play in, right here. Since she was a kid, Rosa had always dreamt of her own quiet little coffee shop. She, uh, died before it opened. I'm so sorry. Uh. Don't be. I'm not really sure what to say. I couldn't possibly count the number of times I told people the same thing after Alex died. Hey. Matt gets up and flips the record. Next to the turret table, I notice a dusty piano. You play? Oh, uh, I'm out of practice. I used to jam on the keys back in the day. Oh, yeah? I front at the hottest five-piece sky band at Eagle Rock Bay High School and had to offer. Hey. No way. You had a sky phrase? Sky, sky. I, I, I don't know what that hey. is. Except for a sky miss, for must be still who broke up after seeing your talent show to pursue solo hey. careers. Dude, that's so rad. Matt pulls the piano bench. Hey. Give me some of that two-tone love. Oh, man. Let's see if I still got uh -huh. it. I sit down at the piano. Uh, hey, I think I'm gonna do it. Hey. Wait, I was just smoking the water. Matt, I've forgotten how to play. Hey. The deep purple is always appreciated nonetheless. Alright, buddy. Oh. Can you top that? I, uh, I shouldn't. Oh, come on. Oh. No, um, it's been a long time. Never too late to get back into it. You just sat through a butchered version of deep purple smoke on the water. How much worse can it be? Here's the piano for a second. Mm. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Matt closes his eyes and runs his fingers over the key. He breathes in it deep and starts playing the melody. If I didn't know he hadn't if I didn't know he hadn't played the piano in a long time, I would have never guessed it. Matt plays a soft, sweet tune filled with emotion. I'd never heard this before. Is this one of his original works? This is so cool. Hey. Matt finishes the song and finally opens his eyes. Hmm. How was that? 
That was amazing. Hmm. Oh, it's nothing. Come on, man. That was killer. Are you gonna pull that out for an open mic night? Oh, oh no, I never play at those. Well, why not? You're really good. Hmm. It's just I don't do it anymore. I don't like being up there and alone and having so many people stare at me. It doesn't feel fun anymore. I can sense Matt's getting uncomfortable at the thought of it. I won't push him any further. Alright, man. But I hope you know how beautiful your music is. Um, but thanks. Hey. Matt and I sit and listen to more records until it gets late. I decide that I need to get to bed. Matt walks me to my door. Oh. Night, dude. I smile. Night. I walk inside the house. It's dark. I save the silver of the light coming from beneath Amanda's door. Mm -hmm. I knock lightly on the door and enter Amanda's room. She's sitting at her desk with her camera, editing for us. Hey, Amanda. Amanda swivels around her chair to face me and slumps down. So, what's up? Mm. Dad, I'm hungry. Hey. Wait, no. Hi, hungry. Hey. No. I'm Dad. Amanda collapses on the floor. I promised myself I'd never let it come to this. Sorry, kiddo. You set it up. I spiked it down. You're a monster. Want some spaghetti? Yes, please. Hmm. Amanda and I both boil pasta and heat up the saucepan. Well, I boil pasta and heat up the sauce while Amanda watches. Despite my best efforts, I'm not able to set it on mm -hmm. fire. How was the record collecting? It was great. Did you know that Matt used to play in a band? Hmm. No way. Was he good? I don't know if the band was good, but he played some piano for me tonight, and it was amazing. Yeah. He played piano for you? Dude! Yeah, I brought brought it up. He should play at open mic night, and that's that's happening in his coffee shop, but he kind of he kind of got weird yeah. about it. Hey, I saw a flyer for that. We should go. It's not too late to start a father-daughter punk band and play a couple of tunes mm. there. Yeah, let me break out my glockenspiel. I think I only know hot cross bun, but we can work off of the court progression. Amanda and I have a nice dinner before she goes back to her room to do photography stuff. I end up watching a true life on a house hunter. We're, sta we're staging an intervention for a house hunter who's crying uncontrollably over the color of the walls. I know they can paint the walls of their own house any color they want. They know they can paint the... They know they can paint the, <laughs> the walls of their house any color they want, right? Matt's song is stuck in my head all night. Can I get another A or maybe even an S? Please. Yeah, what? I, the record another spin. I did better than a B. Okay, fine, whatever. Welcome. Alright, only best. one dad left, and then I can go through everybody's final story. Mm -hmm.